Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you an update, what's going on at the garage? So, 1979 Chevy Camaro, we now have the new urethane motor mounts in, we're ready to go with that, we've cleaned up a lot of the wiring on the firewall and around the engine compartment, so we're getting close with that, then we have over here the motor, which we have stripped down. And I showed you some of the stuff that was bad that they did. But for the most part, it's not terrible. And then we have inside the cylinder. So you can see, you can still see some of the cross hatching. There's not a big lip on the edge. So if they did a good job on the bottom end, we should be okay. I pulled the cam out, took a look at the bearings. The bearings look like they are okay. Somebody really kind of beat them a little bit when they put the camshaft in, but I don't think it's going to cause any issues. Um, this cylinder back here, I showed you that when I first took it apart. It's still got some rust on it, but I took care of a lot of that rust. Got the majority of the heavy stuff off. So, again, it should be okay, you know. What I do is a little bit of WD-40, some transmission fluid, mix them together, and then I come in with a gray scotch pad, and we just clean off as much of the rust as we can get. And it's pretty good. I've cleaned everything out, chased all the holes out of all of the um, head bolts, the bosses for the head bolts, so those are all set. We took the pan off. It looks pretty good under there. It didn't look bad. I didn't see any excessive amounts of play. I do see some oldness in here. But again, it's nothing that should cause a problem. You can see where the piston was actually sitting on the cylinder wall for a very long time. Um, and if you remember, there was all the bird seed, I believe, or the, 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 the mouse droppings and seeds in this cylinder and this cylinder. So hopefully we will get this together. It'll run really good. It'll last for a little while. And then what we may end up doing is the motor that had the rod knock in it. We may end up taking that apart, seeing how bad it is. If it's not that bad, we may go ahead and have that one rebuilt and maybe later on put it in this car or put it in one of his other cars that he has, uh, maybe one of the other projects he's working on. So have all the parts, everything's ready to rock and roll. We're going to get started putting that thing back together again. It's coming along pretty good. So there you go, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye.